The other guy that's uh, targeting your division and Kamara Usman is Conor McGregor. He tweeted out today that he likes 170 and it's his soon. He says that he's a block at 170 and give him till the end of the year at 155 and he'll get the strap and go up again. And he also spoke about how Usman copied some of his shots yesterday. What's your reaction to Conor McGregor saying that he's going to come after that welterweight belt uh, as early as the start of the year? Because, I mean, potentially, um, if you do beat Kamara Usman in this rematch, you'd be the one who's uh, fighting him. Yeah, I think it's laughable. It's comical. I mean, you just got sparked by Dustin Sorier. Go ask Dustin Sorier about the times we used to train together. This guy. He used to cry. He'd leave the gym crying. He'd tell his coach, Mike Brown, oh, man, Kobe's so tough. I can't stop him. Why is he so good? Why, why is he just his pace too much and I quit like a little bitch? So you just got sparked by Dustin Soria. So sit the fuck down, call man McGregor. You couldn't even knock that old man off the stool. How are you going to knock off greatness in the greatest welterweight of all time? So, you know, I just, I think it's funny. You know, he's just trying to put his name in the hat, keep, you know, keep some hype out there. Like, he's actually a winnable fighter. Dude, the guy has nothing left, man. You made all your money. You're cashed out. You're not hungry. We get it, guy. Just go away. Fade off into the drift, this, man. Leave this to the guys that are still hungry and motivated. Is it safe to say, because I know a lot of people are looking at Kamar Usman and saying, man, this guy's made so many improvements. Look at the knockout power now. Look at his striking. Is it safe to say that despite the finish, despite the way the fight played out, you're not, you're not really impressed? No way I'm impressed by that. Did you guys not see how gassed he was at the end of the first round? I mean, Marty Juiceman, you know, he's the CEO of EPO. So I didn't see anything special. If anything, he needs to find a, a new chemist, a new scientist to get him some new formulated drugs because he looked like shit. He was gassed in the, in the end of that first round. He was done. If he's fighting me in there, he doesn't last three rounds fighting like that. So unless he shows me some serious improvements... I'm going to enjoy beating Marty Fake News, man, because everybody's hyping him up to be this go, to be this great fighter, undefeated, this and that. He's unbeatable. It's just going to make it that much sweeter when I smash him in the ground and end him. 